Right now at 6, one of the biggest rock bands in history has taken over the New Orleans fairgrounds. Today we're talking about the Rolling Stones and they're playing to a sold out crowd right now at the Jazz Fest. Absolutely. Many inside the gates are calling this a once in a lifetime experience. And that's where we find WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor, who's live at the fairground. And Shay, are you getting any satisfaction hearing the Stones? I can actually hear the Rolling Stones from where I am right now here along Verna Court. Take a look at this, y'all. A free concert, lots of people outside, people in their lawn chairs, getting their sounds in, okay? Now, I'm also told that Irma Thomas and Dwayne Zoopsy will also hit the stage at some point with the Rolling Stones. This is huge, and we aren't the only people having a listening party out here, okay? I found a porch full of people right up the street, also waiting to catch these vibes. Take a listen. This is the best time of the year to be out here. You get to experience all the music. Got great weather. You got a lot of fun people passing by, kind of hooting and hollering, getting, for, uh, getting ready for the show. A concert experience from the comfort of your porch. What's better than hanging out, listening to music, watching the world go by, putting out some vibes and having fun? This group of friends say they love the Rolling Stones, so they planned a listening party from across the street. It's just as good as being in. It's free. Their first time hearing the Rolling Stones in person after a couple of missed opportunities. I was actually here the year that they were supposed to play and canceled, unfortunately, and to finally get redemption, really, to hear a little bit of the Stones. It's going to be a really special event for sure. We got some pasta salad. We got a bunch of drinks inside, all sorts of stuff going on. The hope tonight is for all the satisfaction one can take. It's life, baby. being at the Jazz Festival. I mean, a lot of people cooking in the area. People been offering me drinks. Tonight's fun wraps up in just about an hour. Then the fun picks back up tomorrow at 11 a.m. And organizers say there are plenty of tickets for your other favorite musical acts throughout the weekend. I'm going to go have a little bit of fun. I done found some fun reporting live from near the fairground. Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.